So hey y'all, this is Uniquely Made Jessica. Welcome to my channel. And this channel is mostly dedicated to finding any and everything on the budget, whether that's fashion, fragrance, everything like that. And it's on the budget. I'm gonna try my best to find it. So this is the channel for you. Um, rate and subscribe and do all that good stuff. And I'm trying this mic. I've had this mic for like two years from five below, but I'm just now trying it. So let me know if you can hear me pretty good or not and I'll try to make some adjustments but anyway um this video is a perfume video and I'm sorry I'm not turning to a perfume channel it's just it's what I've been into lately and I did have somebody comment wanting me to try this fragrance so if you want to see what it is please taste it okay I'm back and like I said I did get a comment wanting me to try this fragrance after I posted my video of another dude from his house and pretty much I did a video for the Mesa Alhambra's Lovely Sherry which is a lost lost cherry dude from Tom Ford I think it did pretty well and whatever for me at least and they wanted me to do another video on another Tom Ford dude so I literally just got it in the mail today so hopefully I like it and this is it which is the Mesa Alhambra's Bright Peach. And this is a dupe to Bitter Peach for Tom Ford. And I forgot to get my fragrance ship, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I finally got everything. So, like I said, this is from Mesa Alhambra, which is a line under La Tafa, which is an Arabic, an Arab uh, perfume company. <clears throat> like I said, this is Bright Peach, and this is a clone of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. And I've tried the actual Bitter Peach and Sephora. I smelt it. I don't own it, but I smelt it. And I like it and whatever. And I also have this oil of Bitter Peach from the scent for you. So I've tried like little oils and stuff like that. So I got a general idea of what Bitter Peach kind of smells like. I know some people don't like it. Some people do. And I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of scared to get it because some people... If you're in the Sis You Smell Good group on Facebook, I'm seeing good reviews on this, and I'm seeing some not good reviews on this. So, the seven looks, the presentation is coming to give like Tom Ford and oh, it's kind of tough to my bad. It's this pretty peach color. Okay. And this is how it looks like, and it has made to Alhambra on the bottom. Has the sticker on the bottom, and I will say, if you want to get the Tom Ford dupes from Mason Alhambra, you might want to do it now because I've heard a little rumor saying that they're going to discontinue the Tom Ford dupes from Mason Alhambra. Maybe because Tom Ford mad because they jocked in the whole bottle, everything like that. So they hate. So anyway. This is how it looks. I think it looks pretty similar to the Tom Ford bottle without you spending like 300 something plus and whatever. I got this from Amazon. It was like 20 something dollars. I know they also sell this like on Triple Traders, but you can like Google it and see what sites they have it on, but it might be a bit of a hunt, so it was just easier for me to get off Amazon. So I think the notes is like peach, blood orange, patchouli. It might have some booziness in it too. And I know some people they never really like the woodiness and the patchouli and whatever. I just want to kind of like patchouli, so I don't really mind it too tough. But I know some people do, so I'm gonna um, give it a spray. definitely get some of that peach I feel like I can definitely smell the like patchouli in this a lot like I said I like patchouli so I don't mind it too much but I know some people they might mind it so I mean I like it if I had to choose this Oh, and uh, Lovely Cherie. I'll probably get the Lovely Cherie because I feel like that's in profile. Probably works a little better, 
But I still like the better peach DNA. Well, right peach DNA. This smells pretty similar to the actual Tom Ford. And plus, I just can't justify spending that much. <clears throat> and I'm gonna compare this to what's the oil. Cause know what I mean? I might just end up layering both of these. Okay. I feel like the oil, you get a tad bit more peach than like the woodiness or whatever. This you definitely get a lot of patchouli and whatnot. But you can still smell the peach in it. I feel like if I wear with the oil, it might sweeten it up a tad bit. I would still probably wear it for like summertime or whatever. Because I think peach will go well in the summertime. I don't know. And I might give it a spritz on my wrist. On my arm seam. You know how I feel about it. And I know like some people. <clears throat> they notice with these um, Arab um, perfumes and whatever. They say to let it macerate for a little bit, meaning you see how I just like got a couple sprays from it and the top isn't the most secure, so keep that in mind. But anyway, uh, the maceration. Some people say if you want to let it macerate, you spray it, get a couple sprays out, like some oxygen, get inside the perfume, and then you sit in the cold, not cold, in a cool, dark place. You know what I mean? That might be my closet. Let it sit in there for probably like a few months or whatever. And it allows your fragrance to mature. So when you go and spray it again, let's just say I do it now with this joke. I tried it in September. The fragrance will kind of like mature and it'll smell better. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, I would probably have to definitely, if I do wear it, Wear it with my oil. Cause I'm not really picking up peach on my skin for real. It's mostly like woodiness. And it smells kind of earthy. If that makes sense. Yeah, it smells really earthy and kind of Yeah, it kind of smells real earthy, but a lot of times I like patchouli, but I never had it go dirty like this on me before, but yeah. It's like the dry down on the paper. I can kind of still smell a little peach or whatever, but on my skin, it's very there. I definitely get more peachiness with the oil. So, what I might do, if I end up wearing it in the future, I might wear this with the bitter peach oil because I feel like the oil is a tad bit sweeter. And then I have other peach fragrances that I can wear with it to kind of like sweeten it up a tad bit. So I feel like on my skin, I'm definitely not really getting a lot of the peach. I can kind of see what the people in the in the fragrance group was talking about, how they would be worried. I do like the fragrance. I ain't even gonna hold you. I don't think it would be my favorite. So when I buy this again, you know what it means is I'm a layer it with other stuff? Probably. But I might not like it on me just right out the bat. With the Lovely Cherie, I feel like I love that one right out the gate. I don't think that's the same with this one. But that's not to say it's a bad fragrance. I don't think it's bad. It's just, it's a lot more earthy. So, I feel like if you want to try this line, and if you want to try it before they completely stop making them in this pack, I don't know if they're going to change packaging or not, but if you just want to just get it now, get it. They sell these on Amazon. I got the Lola Cherie one from the Bell, but they've been kind of sold out on La Belle perfumes. They also sell it on Triple Traders. Um... Just Google it, you'll probably find it. They also have like the dupe for like Rose Creek, Wood, I think. 
Rose Brick Ooh, would. No, Rosie Portofino. Um. And a couple of other ones. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Tom Ford perfumes because it's like it, they are kind of unique to me. And quite frankly, a lot of them stay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you. A lot of Tom Ford fragrances stink to me, like Aubrey Leather, some of those different ones. I just, I don't really enjoy them at all. And I smell them when I went to Sephora and everything. And I know some people are like, you haven't like wear it for a while. I'm just like, no ma'am. I really like Lost Cherry and whatever. So that's one I do like. Yeah, I might just have to let this one macerate. I'm not gonna say I don't recommend it, but I think I like it. I just have to mix it, but it might not be my fave for right now. I like how bright it is. It's cute and whatever. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any other suggestions, let me know. Um, comment with me. I'm good talking to y'all. Responding back when I can. I do need to do better with updating my description box with links and stuff. It's just, I don't know. I, I just be forgetting. So, charges in my head, not my heart. If you have suggestions for new videos, let me know. I might not be making like a whole bunch of them. I don't think I do anyway, but I'm in the process of maybe about to move. So, there might not be a lot of videos coming from me until maybe after August, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So if you see this same background in August, that means I didn't move. If you see a different background, I moved. So we just gonna, you know, play it by ear. If you can hear me with this mic, let me know. If it's too soft or too loud, let me know. But that's pretty much it. I'm about to work out because, yeah, I'm trying to, like, be on my weight loss journey. So, that's that. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.